Good day, fellow critters, and welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Dustin. I'm Wendy. And we're making our way through <laughs> these episodes. We're finally starting to get caught up. We are on episode seven of season two of The Legend of Vox Machina, and this one is called The Fey Realm. Yeah. I am excited to finally see a full on animated um, representation of what the Fey Realm looks like. It is, from everything that we've heard, from the campaigns of campaign one, two, and even campaign three, the Fey Realm is just very trippy and very just surreal, and I just cannot wait to see how Titmouse brings it to life. Yeah, I'm super excited, and we also know that the party unfortunately got split, so there's also that part to explore as well. Um, thank you guys for all of your comments, by the way. I've been um, reading them in regards to the questions that I had in, um, about the golden thread uh, in the intro. So thank you for giving us insight on that. And thank you for everybody to conti who continuously put spoiler warning if you have spoilers in your comments. That's been like super helpful. The, the bad part is, like, I, I can't read them. You can read them, but I can't. You're like, no, so I can't So I'm just this. like, uh, but uh, yeah. That won't be the case from campaign two, though. I can read all that. <laughs> all right, you guys. And that's actually going to be interesting, too, because we're going into this when we watch season two, or um, even season one, is that I've seen, I know what's going to happen, and I know what's going on, and Wendy does it. Mm -hmm. Going into campaign two, however, we're both going to know what's going on. So that's going to be a different experience, yeah, I have to admit. I'm excited. By then, I would have forgotten some stuff. I'm oh, yeah. I'm sure. But I also look forward to a lot of, a lot of, fun stuff. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on new videos and reactions just like this one. And as always, before we jump into our reaction, we really want to encourage you to watch the full episode first on Prime Video so that our video doesn't serve as any sort of spoiler for you guys. Plus, we will be commentating and reacting to uh, throughout the episode. So uh, you should probably experience it without us being in your ears. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Where's Pike? How do you not know? Breathe, all right? Just... Tell us what you remember. Oh, oh good. At least Vax is being a little supportive. Uh, Umbersil disrupted my spell. Pike, she was... With Grog and Scanlon. Yeah. We have to believe they're okay. They aren't the only Can ones. Can a Bard heal? Good. Yeah, technically okay. Bard has some healing spells. Well, Bards are the ultimate multi-purpose. Oh gosh. Spores. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Uh, Keyleth just turned It's gonna from... turn into something really... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Welcome to the Fey Realm. Wow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I had a feeling, as soon as Keyleth was like, Oh, it's such a cute little thing! Something was gonna happen. Either it was gonna turn monstrous, and like, ah! Or something was going to devour it. Uh, yeah, it was the latter. <laughs> yep. Pike, we don't have a healer, and without Grog, we don't have our muscle, and without Scanlan, we <laughs> have less dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> this cross is making me dizzy. Look. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Scanlan said his vision of the Fey Realm was like a drug trip. <laughs> he also said sheep's milk is his favorite lubricant. So <laughs> we should check that distant range. How far away is that? <gasps> what the D distance is relative. Well, the Fey Realm does have a sense <laughs> of humor. Ah, yes. An awoken grove. The environment may react to your mood. Percy that's right, Percy was so excited to, to go, go to to go to the Fey Realm. He's like, oh my gosh, yes, the Fey Realm! He's like, I've yes. read all about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> positive thoughts, Vax. Positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Oh. Time for a different approach. Oh! That's his new, he has like a glove. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Justice or something? Oh no. Diplomacy. That shouldn't have happened. Don't understand. <clears throat> what else is new? Oh. Oh. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, they... Pike. Oh shit. Oh shit. Pike. Wait, where is she? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh. Do me a favor. 
Put that thing down. Easy. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Put it down, Grog. I gotta heal myself. Oh, that's right. Pike can, you, Pike can still also heal herself. Yeah, that's true. But the wound won't close all the way. <gasps> oh. Well, finally, they all see it. I knew it. I knew it. That sword is totally fucking evil. <laughs> it makes me strong. There's nothing wrong with it. It was soaking up her blood. They do not understand. Oh, no. Oh, look how strong. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're right. I don't know what that sword is telling uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. God? You got a Scanlan's oh, hand out of there. Just go. Buddies, don't do this. <gasps> oh. What are you doing? Nope. Not listening. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, good job, Grog. Break it. Oh! This is so different. Oh. Do it, buddies. Break it. Oh! This is the end. I'm taking you with me. Uh-uh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, the blood! <laughs> Shining. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> ah, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, so that's the second time we've seen that face. Third, I think. A third? I think so. There is an explanation to that one. You see, Who are they? A bit wonky. She loves that broom so mm -hmm. much. <laughs> oh, I remember this guy. <laughs> He's probably covered in red. Oh cool. no, he's all right. Uh, is it? Oh, is he? I mean, oh no, he's Raven super thin. Did, I couldn't reverse it. Oh, my muscles! Where'd they go? Oh no! No way! <laughs> oh! Oh God! I'm as beauty as mad. <laughs> Easy, Rog. I promise we're gonna fix you. Oh, oh I feel bad for him. Who are you, and why are you following us? A simple wanderer who enjoys a little entertainment. You can call me Garmili. Garmili. <laughs> what are you reading? Oh, nothing. No reading. I, I, I can't read. It's, uh... Keeping notes on us, were you? <laughs> oh. No, no. oh. No, I did not. Is it? Is it? Is it adult for? <laughs> oh my God. What the heck? Oh my god! Why do I have three peni? Art is subjective. Oh. My books were filled with creatures like this. Best we ignore them. Your books have done a fat lot of good for us so far. Oh. Vags Poor hates him. You sure you don't need any help? <laughs> Come on, man. At least let us help out a little. No. <laughs> I will worm my way. Oh. All right. And it's... Move our big boy. <laughs> well, we got some. Uh, oh, actually. <laughs> we'll singing. <laughs> I want them at the end of season two to release a soundtrack of all the songs that mm -hmm. Sam wrote and created for the show. Tilt back. Come on. I got you. Don't want to stay in your tiny, tiny chest. <laughs> Tiny, tiny chest. Huh? What, did I say something wrong again? That's sweet. <laughs> no, you're, you're making fun of me. I never thought I'd see Scanlan the caretaker. That's not a bad thing. Oh, well, I mean, if you're into this, I can put on my naughty nurse's outfit. Just the eyebrow thing. <laughs> and it's gone. <sighs> oh, it feels a little something for Scanlan. That's it. I don't like them. Oh, they look like eyeballs. Oh, they're pretty. Mm -hmm. Which means they're probably super deadly. Whatever they are, we should keep moving. Don't step on it. Oh. oh. Me again. I... Oh. Max, look. 
Not good, not good. It's not good. Oh, oh my god. It's an amalgamation. Try to break it apart. Fuck's sake. It's like a lightning glove? Yeah. It's kind of like uh, both things. But it's, it's actually like something he created. That's cool. I think I scared it off. Ah. Nope, nope. Okay, just, just go run. No, I run. didn't. No, I didn't. Trinket. Oh, yeah. Oh. Pokemon. Go, Trinket. It's after me. Right. Come on, ugly. Oh. Oh, it's probably because of Vax's connection to the Raven Queen. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Sin, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you are super fucked up. <laughs> And Percy's just like, Meanwhile, um, back. Okay. What? The matron. Water. On my mark, take it for a drink. I so always love the choreography in the place. Now! Nice. just I'm curious on why that thing was going after Vax though I know it's because of his connection to the Raven Queen but what exactly yeah. made it go after him just the Fae Rum the Fae stuff don't like it maybe feels like a hangover without any of the fun not me I feel oh my god her incredible. eyes like my mind connected to nature on a spiritual level we're all just prisoners of our own anxieties searching for connection yes even. here we go Oh, rainbow puke. Oh, man. Oh, I can taste the colors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess you had something to do with this. Well, you guess wrong. Gavmili was merely the traveler on this journey. For your next what? journey. Traveler. Oh. Hey, oh, traveler. You all managed to legitimately entertain, so Gavmili will guide you. Escaped. Give you focus on mere relics. Oh, that's cool. Divergence. This is but one of many. What do I care of mankind's bubbles? How? <laughs> oh, a city. Ganmili had forgotten mm -hmm. about this little hamlet. Whoa. That's pretty weird. Alas, we'll have to pass through it to reach your bog. That city almost looks elven. That's because it is. It's single. Oh. You've been there before. We lived there. With our father. <gasps> That's oh. where they ended, dang. Mm -hmm. Oh, it makes sense that they would put that in there. Oh my gosh. I feel like that was, it was a good episode, first of all. Um, it kind of ended kind of abruptly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they kind bit. of had their adventure, but the, yeah. it's since they're still separated, it really does feel like it's like, oh, but wait, oh, until man. not until next week. Yeah, wow. But even uh, though we can just go right on into the next episode. Yes, yeah, so we can go right on into it. Um, that <laughs> was a lot of fun. I have to admit, yeah, <laughs> the Fey Realm was really fun. The adventure of Scanlan, Grog and Pike is really fun. And their music video. And their little music video of them going on an adventure. Okay, so this is what I wanted to talk to you about between Sp uh, Spike, Pike and Scanlan. Mm. Is the fact that technically Scanlan had, was in the campaign relentlessly kind of hitting on Pike. Mm -hmm. He was the one oh, th from the beginning of the campaign. I remember you telling me that. Yeah. Um... And it wasn't until Scanlan left did those feelings kind of start reciprocating for um, Pike. 
for Pike, mm -hmm. right? So to see it this way, I think it is, I like the fact that how they're building it because honestly, I don't think you could have done what they did in the campaign because it got a little bit to that level of um, uh, harassment, I guess, to where you couldn't, you couldn't really pull Scanlan it off. Scanlan being Scanlan. Scanlan being Scanlan. In Scanlan. the campaign. No, I get yeah. it. Like the, R, the RP part of it versus like how they want to adapt it for television. Yeah, and I think the way that they're adapting it now, I really like it. And I love the fact that so far they're kind of slowly building up all of these romantic relationships. It was in season one that they started the relationship between uh, Vax and Keyleth, and now they're starting to build up a little bit more with Percy and uh, Vex, and with now starting um, Pike and Scanlan. Yeah, it's cute. Uh, and I, I didn't know about the part with Grog losing his, I guess, Barbarianness. <laughs> he lost his muscles. I like, I, yeah, I didn't know that was even a thing. So, like, I knew about, you know, Pike and Scanlan and certain other things. Just, you know, not in great detail, but I know about it. So, that was interesting to see how that plays out. Um, props to Grog for destroying the sword. I just don't feel like it's over, even though it's like in pieces. I just. Technically, okay, so also with that, in the, um, what is it called? In the campaign, they didn't destroy it. They just put it away in its like its own little pocket dimension, and ah. they never. And, um, because if I'm not mistaken, another wizard was like, "Oh, oh, this is bad. You need. We need to get rid of this." Mm -hmm. um, so, or did they actually break it? Am I thinking of campaign two with that stone? Well, we can rely on you guys to let us know in the comment section. But overall, I enjoyed this episode. It's uh, it's a little weird seeing the party split the way it was, but I think uh, it makes it an interesting um, episode for only a few of them to experience the Fey Realm and the other ones to be back in Tal'Dorei. Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 Fey Realm is very interesting. I very, love how they're doing it. Super trippy for mm -hmm. sure. Um, so I can't wait to get into the next episode because I think we're about to get a lot more history um, in regards to Vax and Vex. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and check out the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're going to put spoilers down um, in the comment section, just go ahead and do a little spoiler um, warning with your text uh, and then comment away. All right. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye.